All right. Welcome back. For our next tutorial, I thought it might be fun to do a peacock. Peacocks are lots of fun, lots of colors, lots of pretty patterns and designs. And why not? Okay, so I've got all my materials laid out, my paintbrushes, watercolors. Um, I did pre-draw the peacock and pencil to save on some time. Um, now I'm going to go in and trace over with Sharpie. Like I said before, if mom and dad don't want you to use Sharpies, any dark marker will be just fine. Or just press hard on your pencil. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, here we go. Peacocks are fun to draw because even if you mess up, there's a million different ways you can create a peacock, so you just have to turn it into a happy mistake. Okay, and then when I watercolor this, um, and when the paint dries and I go in to add my marker details after in Peacock Part 2, then I'm going to add more uh, feather designs in the background, just so you know. I am planning ahead. Okay, I'm going to circle my main focus for the feather designs. So when this dries, also, after I watercolor, I'll go in and add way more feather details. Because in my opinion, that's the best part of a peacock. Okay, so I did all the Sharpie. Now, like I say a million times, just go in, erase your pencil marks. So if you don't erase your pencil marks and you watercolor over them, sometimes the watercolor will amplify your pencil marks so you'll see them even more. And hey, since you're an artist, if that's something you like, then keep them on there. It's up to you. Alright, my little friends. Now I'm ready to watercolor. Okay, I think I'm going to just dive right in. I'll make my peacock body blue, mix, 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 mix my colors for rich and bright, beautiful colors. Can't really see on the side, but there's my brush, and I am mix, 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 mix. Okay, clean off my brush. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint the feathers. Um, I am going to do with just a light shade of green over the whole thing because I'm going to stick with most of my detail markings with marker, which I'll do once the watercolor dries. Always when we're painting or any form of art, really, you kind of want to work with your background up. Because it's easy -er, to build up and add details as you go, as opposed to starting with your little details and then having to paint around them. And you know what else we might do with this one? 
which I haven't done yet. Maybe we can practice using our dirty toothbrushes to do some splatter paint. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Don't want to forget the little legs. All right. Now, before I paint my background, I still have to do the beak and the eyes, and I am going to switch brushes. I think it'll be better to get a smaller brush about this size, so maybe the size of my fingernail. And then I'm going to paint my beak, my beak orange. Yours can be hot pink, whatever floats your boat. I'll go in and get some yellow for my eyes so they stick out. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to mix, mix, mix some yellow. And I want my uh, circles to really pop. So I'm going to go in and just kind of put some yellow in each circle. That way when it dries, It'll be a nice little light base for me to add even more details. And the beauty with watercolors too is they are washable. So if you get it on your clothes, you just have to throw them in the wash. Okay, I'm almost done. I'll do a little bit more yellow in there. All right. Now I'm going to go in and paint my background. Now I want to do a different color, an opposite color from the cool colors I just added, besides yellow. Um, so I think I'm going to do red for this one to make the peacock really pop. And the beauty with using Sharpie is you can, if you remember in class, you can paint right over the Sharpie and it will not disappear since it's a permanent marker. That's good and bad because if you get it on something, it won't come off. Okay, we're about halfway done with our background. And boys and girls, it would be nice after you're finished to um, post this on the main classroom uh, stream so everyone can see it, not just me. Unless you feel weird about that, then you're more than welcome just to do a, send a private message um, showing your art and then you and I can just talk back and forth okay I don't know if some of you noticed but I have been going back and forth with orange and red so I thought that might be nice instead of just sticking with one color okay All right, so it looks like my peacock is fully painted. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of go in with some darker shades. Just make sure it's a nice, rich color. And then I'll let this dry and do peacock part two, peacock details which I think is the best part. All right, my friends. 
We have completed our peacocks. Yay! Now I'll let it dry and I'll post peacock part two. Alright, thanks for listening and creating. I miss you. Bye.